Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Do you have an event coming up? Maybe you will be attending a Christmas party? If you want to look classy and festive, then nothing beats a sparkly red lip. Red lips has always been classy and everyone just looks good with a red lip. Now grab your brushes and let's start with the tutorial. I'm gonna start with my Detail Makeover Illuminating Primer Oil. This is gonna help with the foundation to stick to my face. Well, I'm gonna grab my CoverGirl Outlast All Day Foundation. If the event that you're gonna go to lasts, let's say, three to four hours, make sure that you're gonna use a long lasting foundation and keep blotting papers handy. Nobody wants to look oily in their pictures so make sure that you have this on your makeup arsenal going to use my fit me concealer i'm just gonna put this under my eyes now my under eyes are really dark so this step i cannot skip during my uh, makeup so i really have to do this just to make myself look more awake and just brighten my under eyes now after blending I'm just going to put some on my blemishes just to cover them up a little bit after the concealer what I did is I set with powder my under eyes and then um, I set also my my whole face now I'm moving on to brushing my brow hair upwards and then I'm using this Ever Belena original pencil in brown to um, shape or frame my brows and fill my brows as well After drawing my brow in, I'm just going to use this pulley and I'm just gonna do a feathered brows just to make it more a bit natural. Grabbing my Kai Shadow Bronze Palette, I'm gonna mix Citrine and Jasper. Using Citrine and Jasper, I'm using a small crease brush to blend it out all over my crease, I'm gonna blend it to the point until it almost reaches my brows. Next, I'm gonna put tiger eyes all over my lids and I will blend it um, just so it could have a really good transition with the citrine and jasper that I have on my crease. Using bronzite from the Kai Shadow palette, I'm going to use this above my lash line so I'm just going to smoke it out a little bit and blending it out with the same crease brush that I used for Citrine and Jasper. Next, I'm going to use my Detail Makeover Metallics palette and I'm going to pick out the shade Pollux which is a champagne gold um, shimmer and I'm just gonna put it all over my lids using an eyeshadow brush next I'll grab the shade Delta and I'm gonna put that on the outer V's of my eyes this is to make sure that the shimmer is not look it doesn't look like it's floating on my eyes it just looks blended brighten it up i'm going to go back with the shade polux and gonna blend that out with the delta shade back to the kai shadow palette i'm just gonna grab the shade hematite so when i 
did the shimmer on my eyes it, it kind of toned down the warmth on my eyes a little bit so i'm just bring it back up with the shade and i'm just gonna put it on my outer v's and blend it out going back to the shade hematite i'm gonna put it all over my lash line just to smoke it out a little bit Next, I'm gonna grab my Nichido Matte Finish Setting Spray. I'm gonna put that on my brush and I'm going to dip it on the shade Bronzite. I'm gonna use that as an eyeliner. Then I just popped in some lashes. Okay, next I'm gonna grab my BYS Matte Bronze Contour Powder. I'm just gonna sculpt my cheeks, my forehead, and my chin. Next, I am going to use my CoverGirl Blush in Rose Silk. I'm just going to put it all over my cheeks and I'm making sure that it is blended with my contour. Using my Fit Me Press Powder, I'm just going to remove the excess powder on my face and I'm just gonna set everything. When I was done with the powder, I realized that my nose looked a bit flat. So that's why I decided to contour my nose as well. So all you have to do is contour your nose and using a press powder, you can blend it so that it would look more natural. Next step, I am going to lock everything using my Nichido setting spray and after I spray it, I make sure I fan it out to dry. Next, I'm gonna grab my EB Advanced Glow Out Highlighter and Candlelight. I'm just going to be putting it uh, on my cheekbones just to give me that illusion that I do have cheekbones. So actually this reminds me of the highlighter that Fenty Beauty has which is called Trophy Wife. Although I don't have that um, exact highlighter but it kind of looks like it. So if you're looking for a cheap dupe then... You can try this out, this is available on your local Watsons. Using Everbalena Lip Pencil in red, I am going to line my lips and fill them. For the lips, I am going to grab my Colourpop X Hello Kitty liquid lipstick and surprise and this is a metallic liquid lipstick and it doesn't go matte but the glitter on this one is pink um actually it kind of reminds me of the ruby shoes from the wizard of oz it just looks very festive and happy so that's why i like it and this is the finished look 
Now it's glowy, it's classy, and really glittery. When I was filming this video, Wednesday literally climbed up to me just to check what I'm doing. Um, I guess she was curious with the light that I was using, so she wanted to see it as well as the camera that I was using. So she is very curious. Now, um, I don't know, but she, it's so smart that she's like, looking directly at the camera and look at her she poses too so she's eating my hair and then giving me high fives and in return i give her scratches and hugs so this is the end of my video. I do hope that you have enjoyed the video tutorial for today. And if there are any other looks that you want me to do, please let me know in the comment section. And from Wednesday, bye!